My name's Tank, and you're watching Tribe Time. Too small, I got big dreams. You just start no way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. What you just saw was the roller coaster champ. This is something that student sections in Williamsburg have been doing for a very long time. So, on this Friday, September 22nd, at the pep rally, there will be a competition to see which class can do the best roller coaster champ. Promise my brother, soon as he ought to finish this big, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. Step 1. Appointing one person to take the lead. Each class champ will be led by one person. The executive council for your class can appoint this job to a loud and school-spirited student in their class. Step 2. Plan. Make sure the leader doesn't just wing it. It is important to come up with a game plan. Being organized and efficient allows the whole class to succeed in this game. Step 3. Add some flair. With four classes doing the same exact chant, in order to win, you have to stand out. Do something different and make sure your roller coaster is memorable. Step 4. Participate. Although some may think participating in school spirit week and activities like this may be lame, you only get to experience high school once in your life. Be loud and be proud. We are Waynesboro. So good luck, and may the best roller coaster win. Hey, did you guys hear about spirit week yet? No. Do you guys want to find out? Yes, sure. We're with Miss Beatty, and Miss Beatty's going to explain how the pep rally is going to work this Friday. So when you come to the pep rally on Friday, you should be dressing in your class colors. That means seniors, you are wearing fluorescent pink. Juniors, you are wearing fluorescent orange. Sophomores, you are wearing fluorescent green. And freshmen, you are wearing fluorescent yellow. I'm here with Emily Cobbs. And Emily, what is your favorite musician slash genre? My favorite genre is J-pop. I like 90s alternative rock music. My favorite genre would probably be anything my Spotify plays. Oh, okay. I don't have a favorite genre. Uh, my favorite genre is probably anything from the 70s or 80s. But I'd say my favorite band is Spotify. How do you recommend that you dress as Adam Sandler? Put on your funniest golf attire and become Happy Gilmore. So I'm going to be wearing the Water Wiz and the basketball shorts from Grown Ups because it's my favorite movie of all time. Uh, this is where you get a white t-shirt and then you end up printing something on your white t-shirt that might be a white lie like, I'm a great math student or I love school. Um, what needs to be very clear and clarified is that you're going to put appropriate statements on your white lie shirt. So feel free to Google some ideas, but uh, you need to have appropriate statements on your shirt Otherwise, we will have to dress code you and have you remove those. So, what do you guys plan on dressing up as for Barbie Day? I'm gonna be the birthday Barbie. I'm gonna be stereotypical Barbie. What do you plan on doing for Blue and Gold Day? For Blue and Gold, I'm wearing my Waynesboro Band shirt with just black shorts. Really? You can give him a Mr. Shriver shirt. I have $15. Really? Yeah. Wait, where can I wear these shirts? Well, there's actually many different places where you can wear these shirts. You can wear it while sunbathing? In the class. While walking in the hallway. In a car. In Walmart. While jumping on a trampoline. While wearing your favorite ranch costume. <laughs> You can wear it in a cap, you can wear it in a bath. You can wear it really loud, you can wear it in a crowd. It gives you superpowers. Wild cleaning. And more cleaning. You can wear it in the cafeteria. Everyone buy a t-shirt! Wild eating. Wild cooking. Tu puedes vestir el camiseta en el clase de español. Buy a t-shirt now, only $15, and they're so dope. So you can support the class of 2025. 
I'm Marissa. I'm Caitlin. And we're introducing a new segment called Superlatives of the Week. Let's go find out who's most likely to be in the Olympics. Okay, that's good. Aaron Fortney. Tyler Rooney. Aaron Fortney. That tells me he's not that interested. Woo! Ray Hewitt. Sean Smith. Two Root. Bree McLemore. Lainey Payton. Charlotte Rhodes. Brianna McElwain. E. Phillips. Cameron Bonner. E. Phillips. Parker Hall. Andrew So. Callan Smith. Andrew So. What superlatives should we do next? Email us your suggestions. Hi, I'm Mrs. Dietrich. I am one of the advisors of Spanish Club and the National Spanish Honor Society. Uh, we do a lot of different activities uh, throughout the year, and you're well. Anybody is welcome to come and join Spanish Club if you have an interest in the culture and the language. And we also invite students to apply for National Spanish Honor Society if they are enrolled in, or will be enrolled in Spanish 3 this year and above. Uh, if you would like to have information about the requirements, they can talk, contact me, Mrs. Dietrich, Mrs. Lay, or Mrs. Mummert if they would like to apply for the society. So I'm Emma Coulter, I'm the president of French Club. So we are basically a celebration of the culture and language of the French speaking world. We have a different activity every meeting and everyone in the school is allowed to join. And to join, you can contact. You can contact me, uh, Madame Bowerman by email, or Emma Coulter, or Zoe Bechtel. I want to give the students a chance to like hang out after school, do some German related things with culture, language, and just have fun together. Uh, we do like food events, craft events, we play games, some like Olympics, uh, relays, stuff like that. Uh, you're welcome anytime there's a meeting. There's also QR codes in my room that you can sign up and remind. And then anytime there's a message, you can come after school. Everyone is welcome. Thanks for making Tribe Time your time.